All right, this is a quick video on um, uh, systems of matrices. Um, here, uh, a high school student approached me and said, look, my teacher gave me three problems and we've never done uh, matrix math before and said uh, to look it up uh, and uh, solve these three matrix problems. Um, the student was unfamiliar with uh, row operations. There are three row operations in matrix math. Um, you can uh, multiply any row by a scalar quantity that's not zero. You can swap any two rows and you can add any two rows to each other and replace the row. So you can also do that when they're scaled. So as a crash course in matrix math, uh, here's the solution to uh, of this problem set uh, B. So the idea of matrix math is you start with um, just the coefficients of the system of equations on the left side, here for x in the first column, y in the second column, and z in the third column. And on the right side is the constant as they're in standard form as given. Notice that there's a placeholder zero in the third equation because there is no y value for the, uh, there's no y term in the third equation. So here I swapped rows one and two and rewrote the matrix down here below. That was my first uh, row operation move. Then I did two linear combinations, which you can try yourself, but if you do five times row one and add row two and replace it here, you'll have a zero in the front column. Similarly, in row three, I did three row ones plus row three, so that I'll also have a zero here in the column. So now I have a single number and all the rest of the column is zeros. After you work out the first column, do the same with the second column. You want to pivot here at 22, that will be the only non-zero number, but these two gray circled ones, we want to turn into zeros. So again, you use a linear combination of two rows to replace. So I did two times row two plus 11 row ones gives me these numbers, but now there's a zero in the second column. Similarly, for the third row, I did six row twos plus 11 row threes, which gives me a zero in the second column. Therefore, there's only one number in the column. There are zeros around that one number. Also, I took row two, which was 22, 16, and four, and I did a scalar multiply, multiply it by a half. So now it's 0, 11, 8, and 2. Column 1 and column 2 are now worked out. And now for column 3, again, I want to make these gray circled numbers into zeros. So you do that by a linear combination. Here I did the third row plus 49 times the first row. And when you add those together, these will be the four new sums. So that's... 0 plus 11 times 41 is 451. 0 uh, plus 0 is 0. And then I know that that's 41 minus 41 is a 0. The only thing that's weird here is that's 35 plus 41 19s, which is a massive sum of 814. But now, as you can see, we're almost at our goal. We have a single number with zeros elsewhere. And then for the second row, a uh, second column, uh, zeros and a number in the second row. For the third column, just a single number in the third row. We have this diagonal of numbers. Well, the last step is to scale each one down. So divide the first row by 451, the second row by 451, and the third row by 41. And we get the solution matrix. It's also called the identity matrix that X is 7441, Y is negative 1841st, and Z is 3541st. And that is the solution. Um, so you have to be very careful when you're doing these, these um, adding rows together when they're scaled. That's very easy to make a sign error. And um, again, this is all done by computer code, but these, these tough student exercises can be checked with a calculator that can do matrices or you can do them online. So here for the TI-84, what you do is here, I'll go to the uh, normal calculator mode and I'll clear out the screen and I'll clear out the key code so you can see this as I work. It's frozen now, I don't know why. 
I want to clear out the cells. That's eh, not letting me press. Can you press history? Eh, it's saying cancel. It's not accepting the window. If I do second and this button, it brings me to the list of matrices. I've stored the matrix as matrix B. So if I go to edit, you can see here, uh, now it's matrix A. Second, go to matrix, edit and matrix B. You hit enter, you'll see the augmented matrix. On the left are the coefficients of X, Y, and Z. Here, this represents five X plus two Y plus Z equals nine. The second row represents X minus four Y minus three Z equals one. The third row represents minus three X plus four Y uh, plus four Z equals negative two. What you can do with these matrices once they're in the computer is you can use a list of uh, scrolled functions here. So again, I'm leaving the matrix editor. And if you do math, I'm sorry, going back to the calculator mode, second, this button, x to the negative one, then uh, I want to see my matrix B. So I go to name so I can see my matrix by hitting enter twice. I make sure that I've coded the augmented matrix correctly. Then do second matrix right arrow. And there's a whole list of commands from a matrix algebra course. This is a command B, like Bravo, RREF, the reduced row echelon form, hit enter. And then again, do second matrix and then choose matrix B. And when you do RREF on matrix B, it will reduce it into the um, reduced row echelon form, which is this solution matrix, the identity matrix, one, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one, if it's valid, if it's possible. And sure enough, there it is. That's the reduced row echelon form. But they give these decimals here. How am I supposed to compare them with the, uh, with my answer. Well, you could take the calculator and divide, or you can uh, again, click uh, math. And it says convert answer to a fraction, which is choice one, hit enter. And sure enough, you can see that for the uh, reduced row echelon form for matrix B, the solution is 74 over 41, negative 18 over 41 and 35 over 41. Um, I hope this video has been uh, useful to you in uh, learning more about matrix algebra and how to use reduce row operations and reduce row echelon form commands with the TI-84 plus CE calculator. Thank you for watching my video and good luck.